Okay, boys and girls. I'm late. Susan's late. We're both late. Lots of lateness going on. But I tell you what, to make it up to you, how about this? I'm going to reach deep, deep down, down here. I'm going to get it with both hands. I'm going to try and pick it up. And, 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 whoa. Here we are, because tonight is a double gold stream. Mm. Yes, it's true. Once a week, the Adipose TV has a double gold stream. It could be any time. It could be early in the morning. It could be late in the evening, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But today, it is Thursday. This stream, biggest stream of the week, Doctor Who Legacy, is double gold, which means every five minutes you'll be earning two gold to use in the various giveaways at any point. Let's get the lovely... Um, Susan and Lee on here with us. I think Susan is joining us here tonight. Let me just check my settings. Settings look good. Hello, Susan. Hello. Tonight is double Addy Gold. Wow. I'm, we've never been a double Addy Gold stream before, have we? I didn't even know about double Addy Gold. I've decided I'm going to do one a week, and I've done one three weeks running now, and I'm doing them at oh, random fantastic. points. So, hey, let's do hey. it Thursday night. Very cool. Um. I'm in. It is indeed very, 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 very cool. Apologies to everyone for us all being slightly late. I think everyone's just being a little bit disorganized, including myself. And But we're very here, nice. and we're going to have fun, and we're going to have good times. I'm just going to stick a, an earphone in my ear so I can hear Susan a little clearer without the echo. Um, and Lee's, Lee's so even later. He'll be here. He'll been... be with us in a moment. Oh, my God. Things are going off. Um, I understand that this week may have been out. Oh, Jesus, mother of phone calls in my ears. It's like being attacked by a group of Buddhist monks. It is. Jesus. I think I need to turn the volume down. Sorry. Right. The well, bells it, of Saint John were going off. There were. There were this, yes, they were. They. 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 they oh, that's. That's a better link than all I could come up with. Buddhist monks. But yes. No. Bells of Saint John. Makes more sense. Hold on. <laughs> At least, that was, like at least that was kind of a Doctor Who reference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, is, so I understand this week has been... Week. It has been a hell of a yeah, week. So, I was, I was, so, so tell us, start from the beginning, once upon a time, what has happened and what is going on and, you know, start from the beginning and when you get to the end, stop. Well, I'm going to have a whiskey for another second. Okay. Um, well... Uh, it started a couple nights ago. Uh, just, just fortunately, as as uh, Taiwan was waking up, um, I was getting uh, sort of some some warnings that people were having issues with getting the, the Facebook version of the game. And then I, uh, Lee thought that the promo code server was down, and um, so I checked, and I couldn't use them either. And it turns out there was a a, a, a directed denial of, of service attack. On, uh, on our servers, not on us, uh, but on a company called One and One dot com, which um, which, uh, which which hosts some of our servers. Some of our stuff is hosted by Amazon. I think it's a login or something is hosted by them, and so it basically meant um, that you, you you couldn't you know do things like claim promo codes. Everything that basically happens during maintenance, you couldn't claim promo codes, you couldn't claim the login bonus, you couldn't um, uh, what else? You patch. <laughs> And uh, if you were on Facebook, you just simply couldn't play. And uh, so it was, and it was a very poorly dealt with situation by one and one dot com because I went online to, to see, and loads of people were freaking out, and there was no information. And um, we very quickly dealt with the situation. We moved everything, um, but the problem, and this is completely over my head technically, is that when um, when you move things, the whole internet has to catch up, and and DNS pointings have to change, and um, and so basically. Uh, it meant that every, it, was, it was more than about everyone's personal internet connection and whether they could find it as opposed to whether it was there. Like Taiwan almost immediately was able to see it, but it seemed to like take 24 hours to get across the rest of the world. And in fact, it was only um, yesterday evening that I was finally able to do things like patch and, and this morning that I could get back on the Facebook version. So yeah, it's been a long, long couple of days. I had, I had a, few, a few hours of sleep two nights ago and last night I actually slept to make up for it. It's like your little baby's been injured. Oh, I know, I know. And and but and and the challenging thing is letting people know. Um, you know, it's not like uh, like 
if a World of Warcraft or something, you could put it right there where everybody goes to. I mean, for us, we've got um, mobile versions of the game and Facebook version of the game, and some people have notifications turned on and some people don't have them turned on, and some people read Twitter and some people read Facebook and some people read Twitch, and you know, some people know about our support knowledge desk, and, but there's no 100% foolproof way of telling everybody that this happened. So, you know, that means that, you know, we're dealing with people in support who decided to uninstall and reinstall their game because they thought that would fix it. Please, if anyone in the channel, oh, don't dear. ever do that. I know, and just just, just email us. Just email. Don't panic. Just email. It, frequently, it's something that takes two seconds to fix. In this case, it didn't, but certainly reinstalling the game wasn't the way to fix it. And then you lose your time crystals and you have to, you know, that drama... And so, um, so yeah, that should always be the last, last, last thing you do is, is uninstall and reinstall again. So, yeah, so it was, it was a long one. Um, people love your video, Addy. Oh, thank you. I've noticed that's been doing very ni very nicely on YouTube. Yeah. Has, it, has, it been, has, it, has it been helpful? It has been helpful. I think you did a great job of it. I, I'm thoroughly enjoying this pixelated level. I, I just started it. I don't know if you, I started it while you were you telling us about the the news, and then people in the chat told me that if I changed my gems to default, then I got some very cool pixelated gems. So I've just come out and gone back in, and they're awesome. They're cool, aren't they? They're very square gems. Who knew? Yeah. All right, I know our, our son was a big fan of them. I showed him to <laughs> So is the um is the video in the game yet, or will it? Is it? Will it be linked in the game? Or where are you up to with that? Uh, obviously, it, obviously, it, obviously it, I never, yeah, I never die, working. so I, 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 I never die, so I would never see the message myself. You understand? <laughs> if anyone wants to see it, the way to see it would be to die. I think it's three times in a level in season seven. So if you just sort of suicided a few times, um, you know, you'd, you'd be able to see it. And then we get a pop up, which basically says, you know, sorry, you're having trouble, and you know, try these things. And before all of that, you should watch this this brilliant video. I might just have to fail a level on purpose just to see myself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, so yeah, denial of service tag, that's what happened, and, and hopefully the world is, is slowly getting back to normal at this point. And he is here now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was on a phone call and it turned into me and my sister discussing the last episode of Doctor Who for like the last ten minutes with me not realizing I should be in here. So I just better just talking about Doctor <laughs> Who but not not with you guys. Man, you should bring your sister on. We could, it could be a, do a family stream, you know? I said to her, I well, said, look, my la last thing I said was, can we just finish this in front of people? Because I can call you and we could finish this exact conversation and everyone would enjoy it because she was arguing. <laughs> it's the first time she said it. She said, what do you think of the last episode? I really didn't like it. And I sort of, I was just shocked. I was stunned for a second. And then I was like, do go on. And then I realized what time it was. And she was just making this argument. I said, let's just finish this in public, which I think is the right way to do any uh, argument, really. Oh, yeah, I mean, any kind of any kind of family domestic needs to be done in front of other people. Um, Susan just pointed at the screen. The pixel skin is not its own. No, I don't think it's an option, but we should get it. Uh, okay, that hasn't been updated. It is a different configuration file that controls that. Yeah. Okay, we'll get that fixed. Thank you, whoever pointed that out in chat. Um, uh, Addy. Hey. Hello. I can see you on the screen. Nice, nice top. Orange is the new black. My top? It's well, you either look like a prison inmate or, <laughs> or you know, James's giant peach. It's freaking red. What, it's, orange? it's a Christmas jumper for Christmas. It's, it's beautiful. Wait a minute. Uh, if you stand up and it's got like a giant reindeer face on it, you are. Uh, please. Because <laughs> it's that time of the year and you're British. Because I forgot that. I moved away from you when I was 18. And people just wear the strangest jumpers. And now my family started buying this them. This is not a strange now I have, jumper. I have like this a reindeer sweater. I have trees in snow sweater i uh, i need i need like a pixelated dalek christmas sweater i still have a christmas jumper i've been going to the uk for christmas for 16 years i, still I will buy you one and i will post a photo for everybody i, I promise this is not I a strange one jumper a it's, christmas cat it's on cold christmas in my office and so i have put on a perfectly normal jumper and i'm getting a booze i heard actually i i heard it's like minus 400 degrees there i heard it's quite bad in the uk with lots of waves and water and wind and things yeah, the, the, yeah. See, there's a massive snowstorm in the, in the north, and that's obviously affecting things down here as well in the, in the south. <laughs> it's a, <clears throat> people up there freezing to death, and you're like, "Oh, it's so cold." I'm much closer. 
<laughs> I'm, yeah, I've put, I've put on my completely normal red Christmas jumper, which is not at all abusable. It just so happens that I'm larger than the average pose. So when I wear a jumper, it just takes up more space. That's it. That's it. That's <laughs> the only thing. Um, I think we should talk about the advent calendar. We, we got past the, the, the denial of service. Need. We don't talk about that. Oh, good. That was a pain. Oh, oh, we, oh, oh, know, oh dear God, yes. Let's play, change the topic. Yes, thank you. Um, it, it, it was, yeah, it was horrible. And it, and it was it was not like it was at us. It was just, we were just caught up in something completely out of our control that, you know, our tech team couldn't really do much about and we absolutely couldn't do anything about it, except trying to sort of just control people as they freaked out on Twitter and sent us really nasty emails. Um, are, you, are you absolutely sure that Anonymous doesn't play Doctor Who Legacy and they didn't get the giveaway they wanted and then they were just like, fine, we're taking, we're taking the whole thing down? It could, so that could you're, well... You're, you're, He's not one of those people that wear masks. It's much more likely that <laughs> your sequence of events played out. That would be fun if if we were just targeted by it. Uh, anyway, so that went down. That was a pain. It's back up now. Mostly, mostly mm. some some little DNS problems here and there. But you know, we did use the time to upgrade bits of the system and move things around a tiny bit, and and hopefully, you know, in the future, this would be less of a problem. But it was just. Um, um, so tell us yeah, about, the advent calendar is awesome. Obviously, one day, a level every single day with various giveaways and stuff. So, so, so I think the last one I we saw last Thursday was oh, what was I must have played it through on the stream. What was the last one I played on stream? Oh, I, let's go through. I have the That's list here. Yeah. The list of the, now with hindsight is complete insanity because last year was hard enough just to put out a code every day, just just content creation. Now we do levels. And and even just as another layer of stupidity, all the levels are named and have a theme and make sense. And like when you get to let's have a look, seventeen peg dolls singing, that'll make sense because there's seventeen peg dolls in there and they're singing. And when things, you know, when assets then get moved around or somebody can't be ready for a certain date, everything changes. It's not just like we're not putting out a code today. It's okay. That level that was there now makes no sense conceptually and we need to change the name so it fits better and it is a massive pain in front. Uh, so I blame you for that. It's all it's all Susan's fault. I blame, <laughs> I blame <laughs> uh, I'm not telling you he was out of his mind to do this yet. But we'll get through this. With a little less sanity. Um, it will be good. But it's and cool. We'll a reason to log on to the game cool. every single cool. day to I'm get new, new stuff, cool new levels. Don't get me wrong, it's a it's a beautiful thing to do. It's a, it's amazing, and there's very few downsides apart from just having to work your bum off and get this done. And you know, a, and our eternal thanks to the guys at the BBC who are massively pulling their weight. Is a you know, there's there's some great stuff out already. There's some really great stuff coming later that we're freaking out about that we just we were the last hours of getting sign off on. It is down to hours now. Um, and then should we, should we, run through we should go. Let's let's go. Let's go. Right. Day, day, day one, we released to ask you. Um, it was called One Angel Materializing. Sure we shouldn't cross it out. It's really yeah, hard to read. I know, I know. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so Osgood, as we and, and Osgood, who, who the actress was, was, was thrilled about and tweeted about. Tweeted about us. We oh, have a list somewhere of actors of, who tweeted about of, us. Yeah, of act, yeah, who have acknowledged the existence of this game. A lot of it this month. Mar Martha uh, Prima, she, she acknowledged us this month. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Um, so, anyway, Osgood, yeah, and we're very excited about Osgood. Yes, love Osgood. Love the character. Awesome. Um, the second thing is it an Osgood, an Osgood in a pear tree or something like that? Well, what's 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 the line? Something vogue, something lyrical. It's, it's one angel materializing, and then two is that doesn't too many fit with the song. Me. No, it doesn't. But I was I wasn't that insane. It was hard enough trying to get this working. Don't don't harass me, Addy. <laughs> well, you were harassed him. Right, I know. Boys and girls in the chat, four. we need to change the names of these levels to fit the song. Okay, as they go through them, you need well, to change them so it rhymes right? with the. The second day was too many winders winding because, the, like, the night before, the one we were supposed to have there got pulled. And then I had a winders level later, and I thought, oh, I'll change TWO because it was supposed to be two thingies thingy. Yeah. And so I changed the TWO. We already had a few. Too things. many winders winding just to save our butt. It's fluctuations, yeah. So that was, but it, it still fits. Uh, three Ogrons. No, no, hang on. No, no, no. Well, two was the rare third Dr. Carson, was, was the reward. Oh, that's right. Then we pushed that level back. Yeah, well, no, no, but we haven't discussed what that was. So the, the oh, rare yeah, 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 doctor costume, which which I think less than 100 people oh. had. Well, we gave it away on one Twitch. Um, it's a beautiful bit of art. It's my, it's our favorite. We sat down with all the different outfits we have. Uh, and we, you know, um, we saw that. And we loved it. And we're like, we gave it away once on Twitch. We gave it away on one Twitch. So probably a couple of hundred people got it that day. 
And then we printed when, when, when Lee out. said he sat down with all the outfits he had. Does anyone else have the village, the vision of Lee actually sitting there with all of the outfits and like trying them all and being like, we should give away this one. It looks in awesome. the middle of all, all spread out on the, <laughs> on the ground around me. And I'm sitting there in the gallery class with a glass of white wine. That's yeah, exactly. what we <laughs> And some jelly babies. Add, I think Peter, <laughs> the channel. Let's add, uh, add Peter into the channel. As a surprise. Uh, it would surprise him, I think. Yeah, I think... He just, he just posted, he just posted it. Oh, did he? Yeah, okay, yeah. I think he told me he didn't know he was around. I thought so, too. He, um, he anyway, to wait, so him. the outfit had was about 200 people had it, and we printed out 100 codes. We said, we'll only give these away to people who are really nice on, on support and helpful, and we gave away about 50 of those to the year. Uh, and we decided, instead of having this locked away from everyone forever, because this, hopefully this game will go for years and years and years, that we would start a thing where every year we would give out one on Twitch, an exclusive one, that at the end of the year would go public with everyone. And this is the first one. So early next year, we'll do a, a, a new exclusive outfit that will only be on Twitch and in very special situations and give it away next Christmas. Fingers crossed that we're still here next Christmas. So that was that, eh? Uh, and I already have a costume in mind for that. Yeah, uh, I do. really? Oh, we should talk about that later. Okay. Uh, the next day was the uh, the Bessie top-down costume, three Ogrons blasting. Which was a wonderful first. Hello, Hello Peter. Peter. How are you doing? Good, good, how are you? Good. Oh. Lovely to have you. Yeah, my screen's just the, suddenly uh, on. We're just talking about the uh, the advent calendar promotion and, and what we've been releasing so far, and uh, how much work we've been putting into getting it all cleared. Cool, yeah, no, in fact, that's the reason I've only just joined, because I've, I've been uh, trying to get more content cleared, so. Uh, Peter, you're amazing, and everyone knows you're amazing. You do oh. so much for this. It's it is the game would not be the game it is without you and your crews. <laughs> tireless, twenty four seven work. Oh, it's, it's totally true. Uh, and the guys are down in Cardiff, and it's a team effort. Well, it's going on. It's crazy, Peter. You, and then you, you look at me like. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we, we were just talking about Bessie. We are going through day by day through the advent calendar, and uh, we got to Bessie's top-down outfit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's, it's, her, it's her summer, summer outfit. Um, which was just a little... I was sitting there looking, I was like, oh, we should... I thought I'd ask the artist to do a top-down version when... when it was original. And it never happened, so we went back and we're like, oh, we should do that quickly, just put out during the month, and it's a great little... It's just neat. If you like Bessie, it's a nice little outfit. Optional post post purchase add on for Essie. Yeah, you know, for those uh, those very occasional summers where we can actually do top down cars. Exactly, it was an acknowledgement of that. Um, and then and then we had a couple of days of things like time crystals and time fragments. Yes, uh, that, had, that is true. We had we had two time crystals on day four, which was which was uh, interesting in of itself. So I I've been writing doing the news pop ups that tell everyone what's happening, and I made the ill fated decision. To use a Rose Tyler quote uh, to refer to the few time crystals. Oh, um, yes, I remember oh, the Rose another, Tyler controversy. Okay. Well done. Well done. <laughs> the final layer of craziness is we tried, we wrote hints for every single day in the month. So we thought it would be funny for a few days leading up to it, and you'd have some idea what was coming. And that went disastrously so, uh, wrong because A. Some people enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I tried to elude the cash by, by quoting Rose Tyler um, in the, the scene with uh, with my doctor. And uh, everyone thought that Mental Rose costume was coming. So sorry for that. Bad decision on my part. Okay, I 50 think, emails to I support. I take credit for that one. Ba you know, bashing us, hating us. Yeah, Lee said I wasn't allowed to write hints anymore after that. <laughs> um, and then the next day was a basic fragment pack. Uh, I would say five. With five snowmen melting. Um, Just for you. Five you snowmen played, melting. You should, you should be that level next if you haven't played it. Because I, I know you love snowmen. And so many awesome. I do. They'll get us in the Christmas spirit. I, I, I believe I got memed. Thank you to thanks to your snowman level. <laughs> no, one of the biggest challenges of the advent calendar. Maybe I talked about this last week. Is the fact that um, you know when we launched the game last year, everyone was everyone was new. So everything that dropped was entirely new to everyone. This year, that's a little different. Obviously, some people have been playing the game for for a year now, um, and so the stuff that's cool to them. Is, is to advance for new players in many ways. Like we, you know, we want this game to be an experience where you start to amass a collection of stuff so that you, you learn how to use them. You're not suddenly bombarded with 50 characters that you have to figure out. And so- It's, it's not a healthy way to start a game. We've crafted the first five or six hours of this game to you know, slowly lead the, the average gamer or somebody who's never played a video game before. 
through the basics of the game. And if they suddenly log in and get just dirty characters with them, you know, these really hard to understand abilities, it's not the best thing for the game. So we and and costumes are challenging because sometimes they don't have those characters yet. So you know, and, and sometimes of- it's just we some is some new characters just are quite powerful for what they are and should be later in the game, and we just sort of unbalance everything. Uh, so we decided that each level, because we we're going to make levels, they would be based on a certain, you know, level in the game that you would need a team of to to play through them. So sometimes they're easy, sometimes sometimes they're medium, and there's a couple of hard levels in there uh, throughout the month. But and this is something which we're going to have to grapple with even more because next Christmas, if we're still around, there's going to be a hu- even bigger gap between, you know, brand new users and of every character. Uh, so we're going to have to. Rethink this for next year. Think, uh, how we do, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's one of those growing problems that I don't think you know, any game that I know of has ever had before. Like you know, how to support a community with, with free gifts to a December when the when the level range just keeps and the ability range just keeps spiraling further further away. But that's also the reason why you know there's some days that if you're if you're not new to the game, if you're if you're an um, experienced player, you're gonna be like not nothing dropped for me. You know? Because you have stuff. And the the following day were portrait costumes for the the most uh, for the tenth doctor and the eleventh doctor. And we chose those specifically because we know new players start with those characters basically. And so that was a nod to the new players who were frustrated with some of the initial drops, which they just couldn't get to. So stop emailing us in anger because you didn't get something new every day. <laughs> the amount of hate coming to us. Some. Do you think at some point you will? Um change the free doctor to the eighth rather than Smith as the, you know, as because the doctor has changed. <laughs> would, you change one? The, the, would you make the free doctor the eighth doctor instead of uh, Matt Smith? <laughs> sorry, no, no, sorry, not the eighth. Sorry. Sorry. The, um, do you think oh, at some point you'll make oh. Cap- Capaldi the, the, the first doctor? Um, Susan, that we've, we've talked about re- rewriting the beginning of the game, like, you know, putting a, putting a couple of months into just retelling the beginning of the story and starting the story off all the doctors, and then and then redesigning further down. The, the uh, problem is, I, I was honestly going to push back at it. The problem is that you know we're, we're a small team, and so there's only so much we can do at any given time. And I worry that you know um, that wouldn't be as uh, of interest to the new pl- to all the players. So, I think it's I think it's one of the yeah I think it's one of those things. If the game grew more and we could get another designer on board, maybe then, we'd go then we would have it would be a great thing. Hands and go look, you've got a month and we can just do this and. The new user experience is better, and our you know our more our older gamers are going to want to go back anyway if they love the game that much. Yeah. Or play through the first three. Well, I think it's um, doing, but it's just hard for me to do, and, and for the you guys we have. To do. I think uh, you know, concluding the the story of the time fractures of Santarans, the master. I think it's a great opportunity to. I'm not going to say reset button, but certainly to put people back in their correct timelines and and, and their structures. Um, I mean, we can build new stories on from that. Yeah. Okay. Next day, where are we? Um, and then, uh, so yesterday, the tenth was the first in a series of three days devoted to the, the Titan comic series, the tenth Doctor, the eleventh Doctor, and tomorrow will be about the twelfth Doctor. If you haven't that. Which I realised this this morning yesterday that these are our first non-canon enemies mm. in the game. Yeah. As well as you know the, the new art stuff and the comic books. And yesterday we also um, released uh, Astrid, uh, Kylie Minogue's character, um, in conjunction with BBC. On the I, official- I, download, I downloaded her, Kylie. And she looks lovely. <laughs> and, <laughs> and if you go back to the pixelated level, you can. It, it already had her, right. her, had her costume in there. You just needed to have her to see it. Uh, you can go I back know that, dro- that dropped. I know. I, I saw that uh, a little pixelated Kylie dropped. Uh, it took me yeah. back to my teenage years. <laughs> yeah, we thought it was a nice little Easter egg for players to, if they if they were paying attention, to go back and grab a costume. Um, so that's so that catches us up to where we are today, isn't it? Oh yeah, I guess. So so how? The question is: Does the community want to hear more of what's coming, or would they rather it be a surprise? You know, because we can keep talking, in you know, in general, not like specifically every day, but we can talk more about what's coming at the end of the Or would people prefer to just be, you know? Please. Okay, I'll put it up. I'll put it up to a vote, shall I? Uh, do you want to know what is coming up? Question mark. Option one, yes. Option two, no. Option three, don't mind. And, yeah, you have to uh, absolutely for another. It's not you know if it's fifty fifty, we're going to go on the side of not spoiling it. 
Um, but it's good to know what people think. So just to be clear, these aren't episode spoilers. This isn't like you know Doctor Who no, Christmas no, no. spoilers. This, this is, is this is within the game about what, spoilers. What's got, yeah, what's going to be added to the game between now and not not in any way related to the TV show. It's purely, you know, the, the, some of the drops we're looking at doing, and some of the level design maybe, or you know, stuff like that. This is not talk cool. about that at all. Not just something else. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to flip over to commercial for 60 seconds, and when we come back, we'll do the result of that vote. So you have 60 seconds to vote one, to exclamation mark, vote one if you want to hear the spoilers, vote two if you don't, and vote three if you don't mind. We will see you in 60. And we're back. Right, we're just having a little conversation about next week's stream because I am not available on the Thursday because I'm going to my Christmas party. And uh, so the two options are that we might do the show on the when. I think the, we're looking at doing the show on the Wednesday. Is that what we're? Uh, is that what we're coming yes. to, Lee and Susan? Yes, we're going to do the show Wednesday instead of Thursday next week. So you heard you heard it here first, people. Next week's Doctor Who Legacy show will be Wednesday night, not Thursday night. Same time, eight o'clock, all that kind of stuff. Um, but just come here a day early, and um, you should see us talking about the game. <laughs> we confirm the guest for next week. Uh, we haven't, but we are going to have a guest next week. I need to to confirm it first. Okay. Um, well, that sounded mysterious. You can't just leave it like that. <laughs> I, was waiting, I was waiting for something to go on. I think we've, got, we've got a lot of guests lined up, but, you know, often these guys are working really hard, uh, really long hours, so it's sometimes, you know, we, we, we won't know whether they're going to appear until a few days before. So, yeah, just keep an eye out. I think yeah. somebody will be there next week. I think so, too. Um, is it? Is it so me? Will, it, I, will I be the where, special where guest? Spoilers or no spoilers? I need. I need to know. Okay, uh, one hundred eighty-nine people have voted, and the results are: one hundred and three yes spoilers, thirty-nine <laughs> no don't spoilers, and thirty-one don't mind. So that that makes it one hundred and one hundred and thirty that say basically yeah go for it, and then forty that say don't. So you can be the call on that one. Maybe maybe some minor spoilers. How about that? Well, I would say that the, the, the one that we, we know for sure, we're just not sure on the date. It's going to be sometime in the next week. Um, we're going to be launching um, Charlotte Pollard from Big Finish, which we're really excited about. And I know that, um, and this is what's cool about this is that we've been asked, I think since we launched the game, when Big Finish was coming, when Big Finish was coming. And for a long time, we weren't even sure if we were going to do it. But um, now, we, now we clearly are. And um, so this is sort of like the first foray into, into Big Finish land. Yes, yeah, a huge thanks to Peter and the BBC yeah, for yeah. doing all the stuff to get us to this point. And a huge thanks to the big Finnish guys who are helping us write the profile and helping us with the abilities and working on the art with us. Uh, so all, all very cool. Yeah, and she looks great. She does look great. You're, um, you're, um, uh, you have links, don't you, when, when the, uh, when a, when a, get, when a, sorry, let's start the sentence again in English. When a level is based on an episode, you have a link where people can go and watch the episode. So with, with the big finished ones, will you have it linked to where people can go and listen to the relevant 
That is an incredibly good question. Well, yeah, but this isn't really it's on iTunes. Well, no, iTunes. I would say that once they come into the game, remember, this is just a this is just a teaser level. Oh, the, that's the right. Game. They'd have to be in this. Yeah, that's a good question for later. Yeah, yeah. in, in the new it, year when we properly start, like you know, doing pretty big finish stuff. Yeah, um, I think I think that that may well. We'd be have to find out yeah. if, if it's on iTunes. We could we could probably need to. Yeah, I can't see why we couldn't. Hmm. Um, but let's see what other what other things can we can we fill people in on the fact that um, thanks to thanks to his his awesome enthusiasm at the uh, at the Chicago um, uh, Doctor Who convention we're going to be getting in uh, Noel Clark very, very soon Mickey Smith is coming this month in the advent calendar as well. <laughs> which is all sorts of awesome too and we're very excited about it and um, I would say. The other one that, that I'm willing to fill people in about is the fact that I haven't actually seen. Can, can you yet. please have yeah. Can you please have Mickey Mickey and Ricky, but like the same character in completely identical costumes, <laughs> just one with a slightly more sca- <laughs> slightly more scowly face, <laughs> you know, just like you know, like Mickey, Ricky. And his agent today asking when he's going to appear. So. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, we're just just finishing up the art for that. Um, actually, I, I think did I send that to you, Peter? We have we had a new version of that. Yes, no, no, I've got it. I've got it. Cool. Um, and then the other one, which we have said nothing about yet, another one that's coming later this month, is uh, the the Rose Tyler costume for the moment um, from the 50th uh, last year. Yes, yes, I'm really excited about it. when I was um, when I was last at the Doc Two experience in Cardiff, which you should all go to because it's amazing. They had the outfit yeah. uh, up up there uh, to see, so I took loads of reference photos. So we have some really nice photo uh, reference for that. Um, just can't wait to see that one. Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's so we're talking the, the big glowy eyes sitting on a box, rose, rose, that one, the one that's yeah. like in quotes, not rose, that one. Yes, yes. The moment. So, will, so will yes. you put that as an alternative costume for the moment, or an alternative costume for rose? Uh, we haven't talked about it, but I'm assuming it's an alternative costume for rose uh, for, for the moment. For the moment, yeah. For the for the moment, yeah. Um, so that's super cool. Uh, and others, and, and loads of other stuff. Um, you know, we've talked already about Cinder, Cinder, and the ward off the levels. That's um, coming soon. That's coming really cool. soon, really soon. We're scripting the levels now. George Mann, who wrote the wonderful book Engines of War, which uh, you should all read, basically. Um, <laughs> it, it it it's what happens that leads it's up. Good, actually, it is. It is wonderful. It's it, it leads up to where the war doctor is walking towards the shed. You know, linking back to the talking about the moment. That's where the book ends. So it's it's what drives the doctor to, to go and get the moment and and, you know. and if you oh, want to know what cool. the pro degradations are, you should read the book because they tell you. Uh, so George Mann, who wrote the book, has been amazing and has written a script for these levels. And he plays our game. And he, well, he, first of all, he plays the game. He loves the game, so he's amazing <laughs> to work with because he knows. I didn't have to explain the game all to him because he's in season five. He's halfway through season five, so he understands. Uh, so he he wrote some scripts. So he has two <laughs> if levels. If we don't if we don't get new Doctor Who books because the author is busy playing your game, Lee, we will have words. <laughs> <laughs> so so there's a is a there's a two two day story um, that will drop Cinder on the first day and drop her alternative outfit on the second day, uh, and that's coming up really soon. So we're really excited about that. Um, um, Pete, some people talk- in the chat are asking where they can get the book. Any, any chance you could paste a link into the chat about where people could buy the book we're discussing? Uh, Peter, where, where, where would I point people to for that? Is there a uh, I'll tell you what, I will email you a link uh, where you can buy the book. You can actually get it on Amazon. I mean, it's uh, just search for Engines of War. Yeah, and everyone will carry it. It's, it's, it's had a very wide release. It came out in the UK first, I believe. But it's out in the US. It should be out everywhere. Uh, uh, what else? What else? What else? Questions, Susan. Yeah, so I think Susan thinks we've spoiled it enough. That's enough spoiling. But we have we have some awesome stuff coming, and of course, you know, we'll, we'll look forward to this episode of the show as well, and what we do alongside that. Oh, an exciting little pop-up has just appeared. Happy holidays from Doctor Who Legacy. Enter five nine two six six eight four nine five and five two 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 seven five eight in my options menu to claim my coloured fragments. What an exciting little code to pop up! Thank you very much, people from Doctor Who Legacy. <laughs> It's not the, not the best way to do it, obviously, but we don't have the codes that only drop a certain amount of things once. The, the ideal way would be you go through that level and X of each drop as you play through, and uh, it didn't quite work out that way because we didn't have the code. Uh, so we, the best that we could think of was just to put a code in there for you to type in. Uh, another thing that you know we never thought we'd need to do, and now we'll just have to sort of fix up as the game continues to grow as a platform as well as you know, the place for document. 
Um, right, so I believe today we have an exciting giveaway for everybody in the channel, courtesy of you lovely, generous folks. So what are we giving everyone today? You know, Susan is shaking her head because she's at the other computer frantically putting whatever to get she, you need for this. So quick, buy her 90 seconds. You should play a snowman level because you love snowman. Well, I, I actually know what the giveaway is, so I'm, I was more just kind of leading you in professionally. But <laughs> she's, no, still, she's, she's still just shaking her head at me, so it I'm just going to... Oh, I see. <laughs> this is what happened. She's put a, she put a code together for this thing, and then loads of people have just swarmed into the channel, so she's knocking out another code that will be, you know, can be used by even more people. <laughs> So it's, it's okay. Everything. Well, today we're going to be uh, giving away to everybody here uh, two time crystals for you to use um, in a variety of ways. Obviously, you can use them to continue levels that you have accidentally failed, but of course, that never happens. Although, if it happens to you three times, uh, you get to see a lovely video. Uh, you can use it to um, uh, unlock additional characters by going into the store. When you're doing a season seven character roll, season six character roll, etc., etc., etc. You can use use it to unlock various um, specials here, for example. So two time crystals would get you the Vincent van Gogh costume, for example. Um, and, of course, there's um, various other ways that you can use it as well. Um, so uh, the, everyone is getting a um, two time crystal. Sh shall I do that now? Shall I put that up on the, on the uh, screen? Yes, but use the second code. I gave you adding up. I shall use the second code. Pete, Peter, you like cooking food with your iPad again, because there's this wonderful scraping noise that comes through when you're when you move. Uh, sorry, I was adjusting the volume. <laughs> I smashed you. Uh, right. Okay. Well, on the screen uh, there, while I'm doing this, you can see uh, the very cool gem winning gems from last week, uh, which is very exciting, which are now in the game, aren't they? Yes. Yes. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. And a, and a huge thank you. A huge Ian Bell. Ian. Thank you. Yeah. Ian, Ian, Ian Bell. I think I, I retweeted him earlier. So they are now in the game. You can play with them. And here, everybody, um, is your code, which will give you two time crystals. Now, this is like, this is uh, just for people in the Twitch. Is that right? Exactly. So don't don't wait. There's always somebody who waits. Don't wait. Enter it now. Grab your tablet or Facebook or something and enter it. Go and enter it now. Please don't share this on Twitter. Please don't share this around the place. This is this is for the people that are here to have a good time here. If you go and share it on Facebook and stuff, then Sherry or will, on share Facebook will shout at you. And if you do it on Twitter, then Susan will shout at you. And if you do it here, uh, actually, and if you do it here, that's allowed, so I won't shout at you, but that's fine. Um, so the code, the code um, for you to get two, uh, two free time crystals is... Four three five nine seven nine two three eight two six five seven two six six, and Lee will now do that code again to the tune of Doctor Who. Go in Dutch. Four, you know three, Dutch. Five, I'm not singing, really. You're going to do this. Seven, nine, Go for it, Sue. <laughs> Wait, did you get all that wrong? It's huh? awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Four yeah. three five nine seven nine. Seven, nine. <laughs> two, three, eight, five, seven, six, two, seven, seven, two, seven, six, seven, six, two, six, six. <laughs> Although technically, I suppose with the new uh, Peter Capaldi theme tune, it should actually be something on the lines of like a uh, four, three, five, or you know whatever that strange like <laughs> vibrato it has going on these days. Um, <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, so. Uh, so there you are, guys. So I'm, I'm going to leave it on the screen for about another 30 seconds. So get that into your game right now. 4359792382657266 to give yourself two free time crystals on top of all the very, very cool stuff which is coming out on the Advent calendar every single day. Um, so there is a huge amount of stuff being given away. Um, you are so generous, guys. You are so generous. When you end up moving into a cardboard box, we will be very grateful um, for your generosity and we will and we will do, we will donate to get you a bigger cardboard box. Excellent. Excellent. Um, if people would like to give back to the game, um, of course, the best way you can do so, as I'm sure most of you are aware, the best way you can do so is to purchase your way into the fan area, which again gives you loads of cool additional stuff. Um, and to get yourself into the fan area, you just need to um, head into the Hi. store and you need to buy yourself um, uh, six time crystals or more all in one purchase. And if you do that, you get loads of crystals, which you can use forever you want, and you can get into the fan area as well, which gives you loads Loads more characters, loads more costumes, loads more levels to play, and makes you feel morally good about supporting the game. And I, and I'm sure I just have ask a very any... special thing planned for the fan area for Christmas Day or the after. I do. Do I, do I know about this? Yeah, I have a special costume plan. <laughs> <laughs> is it drawn yet? 
Uh, it's not showing yet. That's Good. why. That's why I'm not committing to Christmas okay. Day. I, I think for Christmas Day, I have a very special costume, only for people in the center. Oh, it is awesome. Ooh. It is awesome. Uh, well, they, well, there you go. There you go, boys and girls. You need to ask your loved ones to buy you the fan area for Christmas, so you can get Susan's special costume on Christmas Day. <laughs> exactly. That would be such a cool Christmas present to ask for. Mum, Santa, could you get me the fan, fan area for Doctor Who Legacy, please? I've been very good this year. <laughs> right, any questions? Um, right, so... I've got questions. Oh, there's, yeah, yeah, if you've got any questions. Yeah, if you questions for Susan or Lee, then uh, use the normal exclamation mark question, and if it's an interesting or good or otherwise entertaining question, I will put it on the stream and mention your name. If it's just the standard, when are we getting Donna? Then I'm not. So yeah. be warned. Um, well, that actually hurt my voice. <laughs> <laughs> right, which is this one with these snowmen that I'm supposed to be? Five snowmen melting. Five snowmen melting. It's got the wrong number of syllables, Lee. It needs to be five snowmen melt. I tried. Five I did. Snowmen I melt. Was it. it fell apart very, very quick. Four years. <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to have to step works, in as producer in the fan leave. Remember, that's the 10 days leading up to Christmas. This is the month of 25. That song was just... And I actually got that day. wrong back then, too, didn't I? You did, yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's not just fanning me. She's pointing out that was as well. And that works, right? Four Yetis, three Daleks, two Cybermen. I know, but take it up to 25. If we're going to do the first few, you have to keep going. You can't and just stop. Hen was, was, was that Hen, was hen was singing? It's kind of all there, you know. <laughs> On the advent calendar from Doctor Who Legacy, I was given 11 Doctor Titans. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> All that I, kind of stuff. I, I, I want to 11 to Doctor Titans. Someone with more talent than all of us. Doctor Titan <laughs> Adventures. Nine Toclophane Slicing. Eight Doctor <laughs> is Awesome. Eighth Doctor is Awesome. You lamed the level. Eighth Doctor is Awesome. Lee? Yes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Seven Zygons pixelated, six minutes timed, five snowmen melting, four Fimfatel, three organs blasting, two many winders winding, and one angel materializing. That, well, if, I, if that doesn't say Christmas, I don't know what does. Oh, <laughs> Somebody just asked what our favourite biscuits are. <laughs> um, God, I think they someone did that the other night and we ended up with like a half an hour rant about it. Oh, biscuits? Um... um just don't go there, don't go there. Just, just, just move on. Um, <laughs> a popular channel today. Thanks, everyone, for turning up today. Hi, everyone. Hi. Nice Hello. Hello, my name is The Adipose, and we're playing Doctor Who Legacy, and I'm speaking to Susan and Lee, who are the creative directors and producers of Doctor Who Legacy, and some guy called Pete. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> They're lovely. Fantastic. <laughs> Who works for the BBC? Um, he was also a, a massive questions? part of the game as well. Are there any questions worthy, Addy? Uh, yeah, yeah, we got some cool one. Uh, this is from Doc Chicks. This is more of a suggestion, actually, and I guess it's to everyone, not just the doc, not just not you guys. Doc Chicks says the Amazon App Store needs more reviews to counter the people that thinks it's too chatty at the start. So again, if you'd like to support the game and you're you have the Amazon App version, um, head over there. And um, in fact, in fact, Pete, you of, you often talk about how important the reviews are to the game. Which, do you, do you, you want to talk Amazon on that for a minute? Accounts. All you need is an Amazon account to review on Amazon. That's if right. You can yeah. go to Amazon.com or something. Go to Amazon.com, search Doctor Who Legacy, and tell people what you think about you it. Like it yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Please so, uh, reviews are really important on the app stores because uh, they form part of the, the chart process. So, when the game is reviewed well, it moves up in the charts and it, it makes it, it more visible to other people. So, if it's reviewed well, more people see it in the charts and they're more likely to check it out. And, you know, obviously this is a free app, so they can check it out for free if they like it. Fantastic. If they don't like it, they don't have to. Yeah. Thank you. And, and, it, and it also helps where it comes to us getting, like, featuring and, and things like that. Um, yeah. The, the fact that it's a world review game. So, yeah, please, please, if you haven't, um, um, do so. Yeah. And the Amazon store is a good place to do it. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Does, can... doesn't cost anything. Doesn't take any time. It, you know, it it just supports the app and helps us uh, get a bigger audience. And when we get a bigger audience, we can invest more money in the game, create more content, and you know, it, it, it's a it, it's a cyclic process. And, uh, and we want to continue making the game because we love it, and we you know we love the fact that all the the fans love it as well. So it, it's important for us. 
Bin58 asks, if Doctor Who Legacy continues in 2020, which I hope it will, will it feature in the new Doctor Who theme park? I have two questions. First of all, <laughs> will it feature in the new theme park? And secondly, <laughs> what new theme park? There's a Doctor Who theme park. What the hell? Uh, okay. mm. Oh, you want me to answer it? Pete, okay. Pete, so, Pete. Um, There's a theme park? Yeah, so Paramount Pictures are uh, creating a new theme park in Kent. We're very good friends with the people on the team who are building that, who work at Paramount, who have been, uh, who have been designing and planning the theme yeah. park. So it's yeah. a very so, strange thing. There. And as part of the theme park, uh, uh, we have entered into a partnership, I, I understand. Uh, I don't know the exact details. Um, so that there will be a, a BBC section. Um, featuring our, some uh, drama brands, so things like Doctor Who and Sherlock, uh, Top Gear. Um, so it, it's kind of a bit like the, the arrangement we've entered into with Alton Towers, where we've got the CBeebies world inside the theme park. Um, but oh, so it's not a Doctor Who theme park, it's a theme park with a BBC Doctor Who section in it, if that makes sense. Right, that, yeah. that it, it? it will be a substantial section. It will be, it will be great. Oh, for oh yeah, yeah. Is, I'm a, a, massive, bit like the Mer- a bit like the um, the Merlin, the bit yeah. like the Merlin section in the um, uh, Warwick Castle they had a Merlin section, didn't it? Yeah. So this is a Paramount theme park. It's going to be really big, um, and they will have yeah Doctor Who, Top Gear, uh, Sherlock. You know some of the really big drama brands. So yeah, it's important. It's, it's going to be really good. Do you in in the Sherlock section? Do you get to like fall off a really big building and everyone has to oh, work out how you survive? That was my idea today. I said. Awesome. <laughs> Maybe a bungee jump. So I can back falls, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're aligned, I like this. I love it. You know, I, I, I would be really dubious about it, but the Doctor Experience in Cardiff is so good. I think they can do something really amazing with it. I, I think I really it'll be a roller coaster where you get to ride around on a TARDIS with a bunch of TARDISes. Do the time vortex? Yeah. Oh, with a little like it's being attacked by the Daleks, big time war. Right? I don't know. I think it's going to be really really the... difficult to outdo the new Doctor Experience in Cardiff because that is that's really awesome, and uh, and I know we're going to go and see it uh, next week. Um, but no, yeah, we, but, awesome. I've seen it. It's it's incredible. It's it's. I think. The difference between something like the Doctor Experience in Cardiff and a theme park is that the experience in Cardiff is interactive. So, you know, you're not sitting in a seat and being flung around a roller coaster. You're actually taking part in an adventure. And, you know, that's really important. Are, are, you joining, are we joining you for that, Peter, next week? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. Good. The live blog from Doctor yeah, yeah, we will. We should. We should do it on a Thursday so we can just talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wednesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, okay, any more questions? <sighs> you should have a, like, you know the teacup ride they always have at theme parks? You know, when you sit in a teacup <laughs> and you spin it around? They should reskin that so it's like a mini mini TARDIS, and the thing in the middle is the TARDIS console, so you have to kind of spin yourself around on it, and you, like, spin around in TARDIS oh, as well, hugging on the I console. Like that. that would be oh, awesome. Yeah, that. hey, that's a good one. I like that. That's a great idea. Um, or, which is or very, very, very cool. So you guys, are, you guys, I mean, did, I mean on, on Thursday, I'm at my Christmas do. So if you, if you wanted to uh, live stream from the uh, Doctor Who exhibition, <laughs> you know, if there's internet there, you know, f- f- feel free. Um, right. Um, let's go for... <laughs> Lots of questions about various characters coming. Um, will any more um, explode, if that's the name right? Will there be any more voices like the Cybermen in the game added? Yes. In the, in the first couple of levels, there is a delete, isn't there, in, the, in somewhere right at the start, isn't there? Yeah, like a sore thumb at this point, right? <laughs> well, there's deleted and uh, there was something else too, right? It's, it's a couple of it's, it's mainly, it's a size issue. You know, for these things that get used once, we already get a lot of emails asking us to make the game smaller, and we just keep adding art constantly. So we have to be really, really careful how big this game gets. Uh, so putting a lot of one-use audio in there is not the best way, sadly. That's the biggest reason. I'm not doing more of it. I think I've just picked a team which is ridiculous, the wrong level for this lesson level, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, boys and girls, we are going to head for our second and final commercial break. When we come back, I will do a few more questions. We'll have a bit more gossip and maybe a final giveaway as well. So we will see you in 60.
Well, hello, boys and girls. We are back. And uh, we are... I'm going to have another go, a, a, a final uh, level. Right, we need to get an Addy Gold giveaway going. Um, you guys, I hope you might have noticed this, you've been earning double Addy Gold all stream, two gold every five minutes. So you are going to be a far richer at the end of this stream than you'd be otherwise. Now, the prize tonight for Addy Gold is only one winner. So you've got to think if you want to go big on this one. And the prize is this. Every single costume in the game okay every single costume in the game for for um for all the characters so it won't unlock the characters themselves but it will unlock all of those costumes um that goes that comes with those characters so if you've got something that's been failing to drop for ages or uh you know something you haven't been able to get obviously obviously as usual this won't apply to the like exclusive expert characters and things like that um or any kind of special promotions costumes but you know all of the other costumes um in the game all in one code which is a pretty big prize my friends um so i'm going to open up that um that raffle and as usual, you um sorry. I said good luck. Oh, you said good luck. Oh, sorry, I thought you were like, ah! Uh, so as usual, <laughs> um, you, uh, you enter the enter the raffle by uh, doing exclamation mark raffle ticket and uh, then putting the number of tickets you want, just like Dre Dragon Dragon Arc just did. You need to be following the channel or the bot won't pick you. And of course, you can only take as many gold, you can only buy as many tickets up to the amount of gold um, that you have. And in fact, Jade Dragons didn't come up for some reason, so I think he needs to check what he typed. All right, we're heading into the last section of our show. So what do you want to plug? What do you want to say? What do you want people to do this week? Go. Uh, let's see. Break the game more than anything. Um, visit our Tumblr, the penultimate runs. If you haven't been there yet, talk to your legacy game .com. Check out Addy's awesome beginner's guide video. Um, yeah, and share it with your friends. It's a great friends. video. Yeah. Tell, tell someone today about Dr. Who Legacy that doesn't know about it. That'd be awesome. That'd be the biggest favorite. You can do. There's a challenge for you. So a very gentle yeah, project us. mayhem. <laughs> Mention to a yeah. friend that it's a good game out there, based on Dog to Hill. And if any of you are looking for good good presents to buy people for Christmas, what's better than a free-to-play game? Just tell them it was really expensive and then download it onto their iPad for them. Like and go, look, I bought you Doctor Who Legacy. Costs you nothing and gives them everything. 